Tranquility Walk, mid-April 2020. We are on the front side of the front yard. And we're starting off with a nice little Ceanothus bush here called Frosty Blue. It's about four years old. It's starting to become bushy. It's not quite a full bush yet, but it's a very, very happy Ceanothus. It also has a lot of happy little bumming bees. Bombus, California Bombus. The uh, black-tailed hummingbees. There's a little swarm here of about 10 to 15 of them. Uh, they were here yesterday as well. They very much like the Ceanothus bush. So this is a great pollinator, great location for the Ceanothus. Out in the back, beyond that there, we've got our sagebrush starting to grow back. We've got a couple of island pitcher sages. We've got another type of sagebrush right there. We have a nice little coyote mint. California sagebrush. And we've got a couple more ceanothus. These ceanothus are ground cover ceanothus. So they're low form down lower to the ground as opposed to that ceanothus which is a bushy type. All these ceanothus also bloom at very different times. So this ceanothus is in full bloom right now. Uh, that ceanothus went ahead and bloomed last month. These guys, their prime blooming time was actually last week. So they still have a few blooms on there, but they're starting to die back a little. It's um, interesting having all these different varieties of ceanothus with our various blooming times. Rosy buckwheat. The rosy buckwheat will probably be much happier in another month, right about the time of a normal walk. We've got two types of manzanitas over here. We've got the loaf ground bronze mat manzanita, and we've got the normal huge serpentine manzanita. So the manzanitas, I like manzanitas. Manzanitas are a wonderful one. So we're trying to go ahead and put more manzanitas in. Uh, we'll see how that works. And of course the hummingbird fuchsia hmm. starting to grow its way out. The hummingbirds will be very happy once it goes ahead and does it. 